Hello, in this video I want to talk about binary, hex and magic numbers in microcontrollers. I've got a program here and it's a simple counter. You can see the hardware is a PIC development board, um, in this case an eBlocks board, and on port B I've got eight LEDs and they're counting in a binary fashion. I'll put that to one side for a minute. And this is the program. Um, it's written in flow code. Uh, here we have a, a series of eight LEDs. They are connected to port B. You can see that there. Um, here we have the chip. It's a 16F18877. It's a PIC micro device. And here is the counter program. And the program has some other stuff on strings, um, which we won't go into yet. And this allows us to uh, show what's happening. And if I press the run um, button, you can see that we've got the LEDs counting up in a binary fashion. Uh, I'll pause it. And what we've got here is a string which represents the binary number of the LEDs. And the LEDs represent the status of a register inside the PIC micro device. And a register has eight bits. And commonly we refer to the lowest four bits as the least significant nibble and the top four bits as the most significant nibble. And when we have a binary number like this, the right hand bit, the least significant bit, is either a one or a zero. The next one is a two or zero, four or zero, eight or zero, and so on. And so to understand what the decimal equivalent of a binary number is, you simply add 32 plus 16 plus eight plus four plus two plus zero. So you can see here how decimal and binary convert. And you also need to understand hexadecimal. And hexadecimal uh, basically has, in this case, for eight binary bits, there are two um, numbers corresponding to those eight bits. The least significant nibble can vary between zero and a value of 15. So it goes from 0 to 9, and then we use the letters A, B, C, D, E, F for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So you can see that the hexadecimal equivalent of 1110 in binary is E. Similarly, for the most significant nibble, again, we've got units, twos, fours, and eights. And so the value in this case of binary 0011 is 3. So here you can see how decimal, binary, and hex, a decimal, uh, are equated. Now there's some magic numbers in um, dealing with computers, and these are all um, basically powers of two. So the magic numbers here are two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 256, and so on. And you'll come across these magic numbers time and time again. In terms of how this program works, what we've got here is We've got some text fields, um, which I've used to set up the numbers just to demonstrate this program. And basically, we've got a calculation icon which sets up the variables. Um, and then we are basically setting the value um, of the text strings of these numbers. And there's quite a bit of code here, which is just converting numbers into strings and manipulating them so that you can see how that works. Okay, thank you for watching.